All right, this one's gonna be on auto mounting our hard drives on boot up uh, using FS tab. Uh, recently I had to do this because I had an external hard drive and I wanna plug it in my computer, but I was just too lazy to click on mount every time. Let me show you an example what I mean here. So for example, if you have like, a, you know, you plug in your USB stick or whatever, you have to click on this stupid thing and then it'll mount it. That's not what we want to do. We want to auto mount it so you don't have to click on anything. It'll just do it uh, automatically when you boot up. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that here um, on the command line. Uh, there was a GUI for this. I think I talked about it, but I forgot the name. I'll, I'll post you in the description if you want to do the GUI way. But I didn't really want to install anything. And this is actually a very common question in the IRC um, that people ask. So hopefully this video will help you if you're looking to auto mount your hard drives or USB sticks or whatever it is that you have. So first thing you need to do is figure out your, you know, your device name or your partition name. And to do that, we're going to use sudo fdisk-l. Now, if you don't know what this command does, is that it basically lists out all your hard drives slash USB stick that's on your system currently. And let me explain it here. So we just run this command and you see that it will display um, your hard drive letter. So this one's uh, SDA, so dev SDA. And this one's another hard drive, this is SDB. And go down here is SDC, right? And SDE here. Uh, you can see that it's different too because it has a different letter and you can see that next to it it tells you how many gigs it is so this one's about 600 gigs this one's about 60 gigs and down here this one's about uh, 465 gigs here and this one is uh, about 8 gigs this one's my uh, SDE here right so for example I'm going to use this one because this one I know is my USB stick because my USB stick is only about 8 gigs and this is the one here, right? Um, so, so this is the device and this inside it is a partition. Now, if you don't know the difference between a device and a partition or whatever, think of it like a book and inside it have chapters. Same shit, okay? So, for example, if this was SDC, the book, inside it they have chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. You get the idea. Hopefully that analogy helps you out. Anyways, um, what you need to know is the was that the the letter so SDE here and uh, the partition, All right? So SDE one, the partition that we want to mount auto mount on boot up. So that's one key of it. The next thing is you need to figure out the uh, the file type and the UUID. And we're gonna use another command for this. So let's go into our next window here. Uh, we're gonna use sudo bl kid here and this one is just to look up the uuid basically so we know that over here this one is dev sde1 right uh let's match that up with dev sde1 so we know that is our flash drive we know that already um and now we want the uuid so this is the uuid and the type of it is the vfat so we know that this is a FAT32 um, type of file system, and that's mainly used on Windows and you know cross-platform, I guess. Uh, if you're using something else, like this one up here, is, the type is ext4, and I know that's my Linux one. And if it's uh, NTFS, this one's Windows, right? So on and so forth. So we know that we needed the UUID and the type. So now we're gonna use uh, FS tab to add it to our auto mount on boot up. So to do that, we're gonna do sudo, um, what is that? We're gonna use nano for this. Nano is a command line text editor. So we're gonna use nano and slash etc slash FS tab. Push enter, type in your password. And this one is pretty simple. Just copy an existing one. Let's say for example, we'll copy this one here doesn't really matter copy it and let's say we do it uh, right here in the middle somewhere and we'll put it a comment too if you want to put a comment you just put in uh, the tic-tac-toe sign and you type out this is our example using my USB stick right whatever 
And then you do, if you want to paste in here, since we just copied this thing up here, right? If you want to paste in the command line, you do uh, control, shift, and V. That's how you copy and paste in here. Uh, control, shift, and V to paste. Uh, so now you, all you gotta do is edit this sucker out. So let's delete this part here. And then uh, let's go get our uh, UUID. So our UUID is this one. It can be a long one like this one, or it can be a short one like this. Doesn't matter, right? Just make sure that it's exactly the same as that. And then we do a control shift and V to paste that sucker in, or you can type it in yourself. Doesn't matter. Now this one is our mount point, right? So we had our uh, file systems. That's what it says here, a file system ID, whatever. And now we need a mount point. Where do you want to mount it to? So we want to mount it to our media. Uh, what is that media and give it a name whatever name you want so let's say um, yeah my uh, what, what is this called yeah my USB stick whatever All right so that's our name for it it doesn't have to be capitalized whatever well I like to capitalize it for this example and it's not using NTFS it's using VFAT right like in this one here this one was a VFAT so we'll copy that and control shift and V to paste it. And as far as the defaults, I'll explain you that in a minute, but that's the options. So we have our um, file system, which is here. Uh, our mount point, which is with a mount point here, is this one here. This is where we want it mounted. This is the type, so it's a VFAT. And these are our options. The default options are fine. And the dump and pass, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but zero, zero is what it is okay just use zero zero it works um so that's all you gotta know now if you want to know what defaults means let me open the man page for that here man fs tab and what the hell is it called default if i spell it right the yeah okay there you go so defaults what it means is that uh they'll give you options of uh read and write that means that you can actually um open the file and make changes to it and shit like that and you can actually execute some of the programs uh, and it'll auto mounted and some of these other ones I don't know what it means or I forgot it but you get the idea so I just use the default um, and that'll be fine that's all you gotta do now to save this you do uh, what's that control O so you hit control and then O right and I'll tell you to write you hit enter that's it and now you want to exit is control X here for exit down the bottom here so control X and that's it now you reboot and it'll auto mount that sucker so you don't have to click on it every time now so in the future when you uh, boot up again and you want to test if it works when you click on it it'll actually auto mount uh, it should already be auto mount you don't have to like you know unmount it or mount it yourself manually anywho that's how you do it and that's a very common question that people ask in the IRC uh, and I finally actually learned it there was a GUI like I said if you want to use the GUI I'll post you in the description but you don't really need to learn the GUI you already learned the command line here right anywho that's how you do it uh, on Linux using FS tab here that'll be it for this one